So as we approach like five years into the program, where do you see the program going? Well, like I said, we're we're starting out on our first ancillary study where, you know, now we're 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 taking all the information that we'll have on the all of us participants, you know, all of that genetic information and all of the other things um, that we've collected in that. And now we're going to be feeding people different things and seeing what, you know, what happens, how the body um, handles those things. I see more of those, um, more of those studies coming on. Um, we're getting ready to start recruiting um, in the pediatric population. Okay. Um, so far, the all of us people that we have been um, enrolling into the study are all adults, but, you know, um, we need to understand more about kids too. Um, so, you know, we're getting ready to, we've been doing all the preparation work. So we're getting ready to start recruiting to the, the younger crowd, shall we say. So okay. I see that coming on. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's going to be a big deal. And, and in, you know, recruiting people in families will give us additional um, information about, you know, both the genetics and the family environment and, you know, various things like that. So, so there's a lot happening. And one thing I would tell people, and this is one of the benefits I would say in the program you get is, I got a free Fitbit. Uh, ah, cool. <laughs> well, where's my Fitbit? I feel so bad that I need to have it constantly on my wrist. Uh, but it's really interesting how it tracks everything. Yeah, that yeah, was, that that's right. Too. That's right. Um, you know, one of the things that um, I do a lot of work in, in cardiovascular disease. And, you know, we now have these devices, the Fitbit be one of them where you know we get a, a better idea about the activities that people are doing and their sedentary time and sedentary time looks like it probably has it, it's not just that you're not exercising but there's probably additional bad things that happen for people who have long stretches of sedentary time we hadn't been able to measure that um, very well before. So we hadn't been able to do those studies. But now that we have these devices, um, we're starting to learn more and more about the unique aspects um, and effects on health of sedentary time. You ask people about sedentary time, and it, it's really kind of difficult um, for mm -hmm. people to remember, because, you know, they, you know, they, Oh, I'm just going to go, you know, and I'll be out in 20 minutes, but I got to finish this thing on my computer. And three hours mm -hmm. later, you know, they come out, people lose track of time. So, so getting new technology in there and better ways of measuring things is really going to help us sort out, you know, health effects of lots of different types of things. Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.